house, you need to have a spotting board. So you have the white table base. Okay, so and then you put it on top of the table like this. this. Yeah, this is the brush that we have to use it for the cleaning the shirts. And then we use now we're gonna add a pre-spot formula into the water in order to do pre-spotting. We add it in the water. This is a, a color made with water formula. Spot. Check the stains from Now we are going to wash in a house wash machine, home wash machine. For the shirts, same. Don't put more than three. Only three is the maximum. Okay, this is a Formula One H2O Bright. Goes into the soap container. Next, you put H2O soft formula. We add like two ounces into the uh, softener container. Okay. Now, we start machine. Okay, we turn on the machine. Select hand wash cycle and select no spin. Make sure mo no more than three pieces. Now we're gonna start machine. Now machine is done, so we're going to take it out to do the natural dry. We're going to do the natural dry. Make sure to reshape it. And then front and back separate it. This has been cleaned H2 solution in home wash machine in hand wash cycle mode. That's why the shirts coming out not many wrinkles so it's gonna be very easy to press it. This is not a wrinkle free shirt but as a follow up my direction using home washing machine hand wash cycle H2O solution cleaning the shirts will dry naturally it's gonna be very easy to press it because there will be not many wrinkles now these shirts are ready to press it as well as you can see it with we did H2O solution cleaning and no spin so there's a not a lot of wrinkle so it's gonna be very easy to press it with a home iron and it will become like professional pressed. Do not put it in a dryer. When you put it in a dryer, it's gonna be getting worse. As well as you can see, these shirts 
are very strained now in order to press it. This is a thin wool blanket. You could put it over any dining table or, you know, small table on top of it. Just put a uh, wool blanket or any kind of like thin blanket. Okay, this is a sheet that is used. Whatever the leftover sheet, you could convert it to the iron board. Now we're gonna put a safety pin with the blanket and a sheet so the sheet will not move it around. Use a safety pin in order to put, put it together. Press the collar first and the back. The back on the shoulder. And then we do cough. And the other cough. Then we do arm. We adjust the seam in the inside first so we can have a platter to press it so there'll be no wrinkle in the middle. Back side. As you see, it, we, we do the seam first in order to make it flatter and there will be no wrinkle or no chips in the middle. And the other arm, we do the same thing. We adjust from the seam, make it flatter and there will be no chips and no wrinkles. This is the back side. Now we do body, before we do it, make sure the sleeves are very soft position because we don't want to make it wrinkle again. So back of the body first and then we are going to go to front. See, we already pressed the shoulder so we don't have any struggle to put irons in, into the shoulder. Now we press front.
See, the iron doesn't have to go inside all the way in order to press the shoulder because we already finished the shoulder from the beginning. And then the seam in order to make a straight line. And then we do the front body. Seam first in order to make it flatter and not chip. Almost done. We do the detailing for the button marks. And we inspect, put it on the hanger, and we re retouch a little bit in the arm. In this case, if you follow up the uh, instruction, uh, you're gonna get like perfect condition pressed uh, shirts. Because most of the time, people make mistake. They they press anywhere from the beginning, and it's gonna be wrinkle if you press here, if you press it there. Finishing up with the uh, button marks. Hi. This is how it's done to the edges. See, this is hand pressed. Nicely done. It's ready to wear.